Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up your printer with LumaBooth using LumaBooth Assistant. Let's talk about the ways to print with LumaBooth. You can use USB printers like professional dye sublimation printers from DMP, Mitsubishi, and Hitai. For this, you'll need to download and use the LumaBooth Assistant app on your computer. If you're using a DMP printer, consider the DMP WCM Plus adapter. This device connects to your printer via USB and creates a wireless network, allowing your iPad or iPhone to connect. You can also print directly to AirPrint compatible printers like the Epson Printer Mate or Canon Selfie. To print using USB printers, you'll need the LumaBooth Assistant app on your desktop. Let me show you how to get it. In LumaBooth, go to Print Setup. Under Select Print Method, toggle LumaBooth Assistant and click on Download. This will take you to the support page where you can download the Assistant for either Windows or Mac. Here you can see me installing LumaBooth Assistant for Windows on my desktop. Now that you've got LumaBooth Assistant installed, it's time to connect your printer. Here's how you do it. With LumaBooth Assistant open on your computer, click on Printer Settings and select your connected printer. Now let's set up our network. There are three main options, wireless, wired ethernet, or a direct cable connection. For wireless, use your own Wi-Fi router or hotspot. Make sure both your computer and iPad are on the same Wi-Fi network. If your router has a separate 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz networks, connect both devices to the same one. Avoid using the venue's Wi-Fi, it's unreliable and often blocks communication between devices. For a more reliable connection, use an ethernet cable. Connect the iPad with an Apple USB ethernet adapter and lightning to USB camera adapter. Plug both the iPad and your computer into the same router via ethernet cables. If you're using a Mac, you can directly connect your iPad with a USB cable. This is a simple and fast option for Mac users. The status of both LumaBooth Assistant and LumaBooth will turn green, indicating a successful connection. If you're having issues, here are some quick tips to troubleshoot. If the connection status isn't green, double check that both devices are on the same network. On your iPad, go to settings, scroll down to LumaBooth and ensure location is set to while using and local network access is enabled. If the printer isn't showing in LumaBooth Assistant, confirm the printer is connected to your computer and turned on. Let's take a look at the printing options in LumaBooth by going to Settings and Print Setup. You can enable or disable the print button in the app. Set limits on the number of prints per session or event, and even enable automatic printing so that every session prints one copy in the background. And now you're ready to set up your printer with LumaBooth using LumaBooth Assistant. If you need help setting up your DMP, WCM+, check out this video next. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what setup you're using for your photo booth. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.